steps to the lineup for the Beavers. Muhammad will get the carry. Now McGath keeps, swings toward the corner of the end zone for Del Duncan Busby, who is, is in the end zone for a touchdown. I can't see the signal from here, but it was hard to tell. But Del Duncan Busby's in for a two-yard touchdown reception. And Bemidji State leads six to nothing. Well, who else, man? He is a touchdown scoring machine this season. And he opens the scoring here with a slant right at the goal line, was able to catch it, get the ball across, and the Beavers take the lead, six nothing. One receiver to the right, now he'll motion to the left. He'll fake the jet sweep, looking to pass to Anger. He is covered, Eckern is running, and he'll fire into the end zone behind his receiver, and it is intercepted by Bemidji State. The pass was behind the intended receiver in the end zone. It went off of his hand. There's the snap. Hand to Muhammad, right side, heads toward the goal line, and he is in for a touchdown. Ali Muhammad, two-yard touchdown run. It's the Mavericks 20 and the Beavers 16. A good response drive after the turnover in the end zone on the previous drive and that 80-yard quick hit run for the touchdown. This is exactly what Bemidji State needed. They respond with a nice drive and a touchdown. Butler Lawson remains in a quarterback. Eckern to pass. Fires it near side and to coverage, and it is intercepted by Bemidji State. On the coverage on the inside of the play was Jamel Stone, and he'll go down at the Bemidji State 40-yard line, and the Beavers' defense steps up once again. Well, there was two receivers running down the field, and one was wide open in the middle of the field. The other was on the sideline being covered, and that's where he threw it. Just great underneath coverage by the cornerback. And what a grab by Cameron, not only to have the coverage, but to make a catch. There's the snap. Loney moves to his right. Low spinner. It hit the back of a Maverick player, and it rolls forward. And it's still free, and the Beavers fall on top of it. The Maverick player was headed downfield, number 43, Jock Walls. He didn't see the ball. It hit him in the back, and the Beavers recover. Wow. I mean, that is just bad luck. I mean, you're blocking the gunner, basically, and your back is to the, where the ball is, and you're on the opposite sideline, so you're not going to get any help telling you the ball's coming. And it, yeah, it hit him in the back of the leg, and he didn't even realize it. A couple of Beavers did, and they're fall on the ball. It's another turnover. Alt gives it to Booker. Booker, middle of the line, makes a move to his right. He's at the five. He's toward the goal line. He is in for a touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown run for Sage Booker puts the Beavers in front, 23 to 20. Just a little juke move at the line of scrimmage and the right side was open. The Beavers cash in on the turnover one play later. There's the snap. Hand off to Sean or Sheen Butler Lawson. He'll get inside the 25 the and the ball's loose. He lost the football. You're digging underneath the pile. It could have changed hands two or three times yeah. after that. Yeah, either Officials way. Officials are still digging through, and Spencer Weir's down there on the ground, and he comes out with the football, and it's Bemidji State football. Spencer Weir gets up off the field with the football, and the Beavers take over at their own 25 with 2.07 to go and two timeouts.